I'm Jane Hennig. I'm the Executive Director at the Volunteer Action Center. We uh, supply services for volunteerism for the region of Waterloo. Um, tell us how you got involved with Social Development Center and what projects and activities did you work on during your time with the center? Uh, well, we co-located, so our two organizations shared the same office space for 17 years, up until about two years ago. So from before I started at the Volunteer Action Center, um, I believe it was around 1998 that they started, the two organizations shared an office space. And when I started in 2002, um, we were in the office on Queen Street, 65 Queen Street. It was a historic building next to St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. And our two staff shared this old house where we had staff down in the cellar, and it really was the cellar, <laughs> and, and up in the attic, as well as on the two floors of the house. Uh, so when I started working at the Volunteer Action Center in August of 2002, she was the Executive Director at Social Planning Council. Um, and then I became the Executive Director the following year in June of 2003. And Trudy and I had offices across the hall from each other for the first well, for two years, and then we moved into uh, the office at 151 Frederick. We would definitely talk about work and some of the issues that um, either she had or I had and, and share ideas on how we might resolve them. So we really had kind of a, a peer support situation. So I knew that if there was something that I um, was faced with in my organization that was new to me, I could go to her and see if she'd ever experienced that. Um, conversely, she could do the same with me. Uh, Trudy was the leader of the Social Planning Council, then the Social Development Center. Um, she had a very strong um, desire to support those who don't have a voice in community. And I think that she had an ability to um, bring those people to the table and hear what they had to say. She um, was kind of unique that way. I think a lot of people in our sector um, support people in need, um, provide resources, provide um, programs and services. Um, but Trudy was really about pulling them to the table and trying to find out what the issue was for them and is there a way to resolve it. This community has changed so much in the last, what, 20 years? I've lived here almost 20 years now. Sorry. Um, and I, it, I mean, the growth in the tech sector, the um, growth in the post-secondaries, the um, expansion of the professional services like the insurance companies and that sort of thing have really changed the environment um, in terms of the social needs. Uh, you can definitely see the division between the those that have and those that don't and so I think it becomes more visible the more um, affluent a community is, the more comfortable a community is, you s really see those that don't have stand out a little bit more. So um, where um, when I came to this community um, there was there were areas where there you know it was seen as oh well that's where the people who have need hang out. Now I think um, through revitalization, it's spread more across the community, but there is a, a very, like, I, I want to say that the divide is getting bigger. So, um, what is your understanding of the role of the Social Development Center 
and Trudy's role in the community? Well, I think what I said before is that the Trudy and social development as it is evolving now that she's gone, uh, their role is really about providing voice for those people that don't have a voice traditionally and and they've done that well and I think that that's where in my opinion they um, stand out from other organizations. I think that when you're um, when policy makers are making decisions um, that are for the benefit of community they're absolutely their hearts are in the right place and that they, they are trying to do what is best for community but uh, an organization like social development uh, count or a center that has um, is working directly with the people who the, those policymakers are trying to serve um, has a place in making those decisions.